Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the Honeywell Home Pro Series Pro A7 and Pro A7 Plus panels. Now, what we're going to do in this video is we are going to be changing the master code and adding a user code. So this is uh, super easy to do. What you're going to do is go ahead and click on the menu button at the very bottom. Now this one is a little bit different because you're not actually going to be getting into tools to do the change on this one. It's going to actually be in settings and then user management. Once you get in there, you're going to enter whatever the master code is currently. In my case, it is the factory code of one, two, three, four. At this point, it'll take me into user programming. Now, the first thing that I want to do is I want to change that one, two, three, four code. That's the most common code there is. Whoever, you know, breaks in, that'll be the first thing that they try. So we're going to go ahead and update this master code. So if you go ahead and uh, press on master, you'll see a new set of menus appear here. Uh, there's a little pencil over next to where it says pen. You can press that and then that's where you're gonna change and update this pen. So it was one, two, three, four before. So I'm just gonna change it real quick. We'll just go five, six, seven, eight. All right, and it's gonna ask you to confirm that. So I do it again, five, six, seven, eight. Now I have changed the pen. It's gonna want you to save it, uh, to confirm it, but we'll just go ahead and take a look at the other options that are in here. Uh, it wants to know if this code has the ability to disarm using the Bluetooth disarm function. Um, and I believe that this is only going to be on you Pro A7 Plus people uh, that are watching this video. But Bluetooth disarming, we want that enabled. And Z-Wave lock control, if you have a lock or, or uh, something like that that you want to set up, you can definitely do that. Uh, I don't have one, so I'm not going to enable it in this case. Uh, but you can do that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Save. Now, it wants to know the master pin. You must enter the current master pin when saving the new one. So the, uh, the current master pin was one, two, three, four and that'll lock it in. So now we have changed our master code. And if you go ahead and uh, go in there, you should be able to, uh, to change it again if need be, but uh, the, the code has been changed. So what we're gonna do to verify that is when we get out of this programming menu, we'll test them. What I wanna do also here is I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to add a new user. So you're just gonna press the plus sign up in the top right, name your user. So I'm just gonna call it user two in this case. Okay, save it. Now, we'll go with the pin. For the pin here, I'll just put 4321. Okay, it's gonna have to be verified, 4321. All right, partition one access, it wants to, it, you have to, to enable them to be able to control this system. So if you have a partition system, you have to enable them in each partition so that they can control each different one. That is if you are using a partitionable type. Uh, in this case, I am not. It's gonna be only one partition. So I'll go ahead and I will uh, set this code as a, a regular user. So it's a user. Now I can go ahead and click add and it wants to know uh, the, the pin to add the user, your actual master pin. So mine is five, six, seven, eight. And at that point, it will lock it in. So now I have added a user and I've also updated my master code. So we'll go back to the main screen and we'll verify that this works. So we will try the master code first. So we'll go arm away, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, there's our arm now. We'll go ahead and we'll disarm it using the five, six, seven, eight code. It is disarmed. All right, so now we'll try our secondary code. Go ahead and hit arm. We'll arm it stay in this case. And then we'll enter four, three, two, one. Okay. And there's our arming. We'll go ahead and disarm it to verify that it works. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you update your master code and add an additional user if need be. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you have any questions or you need any assistance with anything, please leave a comment below. Take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.